of the hour on the start of a Friday. Good morning to you, Buffalo. What's up, Lockport? We are here inside the Lions, and we have a huge night for Lockport volleyball, Lockport football. Look at these guys. There is so much energy going around because they are in the playoffs tonight, and the band is here with us, too. Nothing like fits in the tantrums to start off a Friday morning. It is Friday Night Lights here on a Friday morning. I'm here live with Adam Campos coming up in just a little while. We'll talk about why this is so important for Lockport. Katie, Aaron, back to you. Oh my gosh, totally looking forward to this. These guys are all jazzed. Here we're at 6 o'clock in the morning. Go Lions! Go! Go Lions! It is 6.14 on the start of your Friday morning. Here we are inside the Lockport Lion Den. You hear the Lockport cheerleaders already getting hyped up, ready to go for a big volleyball game tonight, a big football game tonight as well. I'm here with our 7 News reporter, Adam Campos, who's live with some of these volleyball players. What a huge night for them, Adam. It's a very big night. We have a Section 6A semifinal game right here. We got the number one seed in the tournament, the Lockport Lions! If you guys can introduce yourself, say your name, position, and let us know. I'm Brayden Seacrest, and I'm a senior libero. I'm Ryan McKinney, and I'm a senior setter. And you guys are 17 and 1. You're the number one seed in the tournament this year. What's the mindset going into this game? Just have a desire to win and uh, be strong, be confident. Uh, I would say working hard every, every point of the game and, uh, yeah, taking home this win tonight. And this is the semifinal game. You guys ha have this going on. And to be back in the semifinals right now, what's the energy in the locker room? Um, always be confident, be loud, um, have high energy, be, um, so have support for your players. Now build one, off of one another. Um, when, we're, when everybody's down, let's pick each other up. And uh, yeah, let's work hard tonight. And this year, you guys are looking for a redemption after you guys lost the semifinal game this year. What's the mindset for you guys to get over that hump after you guys lost this game last year to be able to get back into the finals? To, again, be confident, uh, have support in your players, and pick up everyone. Uh, bring the energy each set, you know, work hard, um, make, sure, make sure we're picking each other up. Well, best of luck to you guys tonight. Number one seed, you guys are going to get it going. They have their game tonight at 6 o'clock against Clarence, and it's going to be for their trip to the finals. They're looking for their first section title since 2018. Katie, back to you. I love this. You guys are really getting us going this morning. 6-16, you see how Lockport's doing it. The cheerleaders are up, the pep band's up, volleyball. We're going to talk to the football team coming up. Big sports. We're breaking down seven things you can do in Western New York this weekend. And we've got Ed and Adam live at Lockport High School for today's rivalry game. Hi, Ed. That's right. We are about to get into the Friday night spirit. It's the number one seed volleyball players playing Clarence tonight here at home inside the Lockport Lions Den. We're going to chat with the football players coming up on the other side of this break. You're watching Good Morning Buffalo. Streaming live to start your day. This is Good Morning Buffalo. Let's go Lions! Let's go Lions! Let's go Lions! Let's go Lions! All at the Lions Den. We are live in Lockport this morning at Lockport High School. Ed and Adam are up there. You can see with the cheerleaders. They've also got the volleyball team, the football team, and the pep band there. It's a big game tonight. Volleyball is playing Clarence, and then the football team's taking on Star Point. Huge games, a big night for Friday night. Katie, it is a big night for Lockport. It is Lockport football at Star Point. The band here already going. Let's hear it. They're getting the energy going here bright and early, and we're getting you moving for your Friday. We're going to check in with Adam Campos, who's live talking to those football players coming up in just moments. Big day today for Lockport High School. Both its football and boys volleyball teams are playing in the semifinals tonight. 
and there's a rivalry on that football field. Lockport visiting Starpoint. Ed and Adam are there this morning at Lockport High School where everyone from the team to the cheerleaders to the pep band Ed are all getting psyched for the big game. Hey, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love what happens on live TV, Katie, but I love being in charge of getting the energy going. It is all about the gold and blue inside Lockport High School, inside the Lions Center for a huge football game. Who's gonna win? And you better believe that these football players love hearing that energy, Adam. Absolutely, Ed. Not only is this a semifinal game, this is Lockport's football's first postseason appearance since 2012. And here to join us now is Lockport Football! Yeah! We got two senior captains right here. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Uh, Chase Diviak, I play offensive guard and D-tackle. Uh, Shea Williams, I'm a senior and I play wide receiver. Now for this to be your first playoff appearance since 2012, what was the difference in past seasons compared to this year to make that push into the postseason? I think the bond with this group of guys has been really tight and we just gel together and work really well and we just do our job and I think we get everything done. So I think that's... Basically going off what he said, uh, being together since the beginning of the summer, uh, working hard every day at practice. That was basically it. And you guys are on a five-game win streak right now. You guys are playing your crosstown rivals against Star Point. How are you guys going to keep that winning streak momentum going into this game? I think keeping, keeping our confidence up and just continuing to do our 111th, you know, I think that's, I think that's what's going to get us to win this game tonight. So. Well, I think being uh, one and three at the beginning of the season really pushed us to work harder. Uh, seeing that really got us all going. So There you go. You guys ready? Yes, yeah! So you know it's all about the 12th man, and so much of that is with this pep band. Tim Martin is the band director. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for waking up early with us. Talk to me about how much this has been a great season for you guys and how exciting it's been in the stands. Well, when the team plays well, it's a lot more fun for the kids and for the band, and we get to play a lot more and a lot more exciting times. So, yeah, it's great. And so you guys have the one job of getting everyone hyped up. How do you do that? Well. I mean, it's pretty easy when they score, the kids are just revved up and the cheer and we feed off of each other. So it, it's, it's a pretty easy job for us. Let's hear it. All right. One, two, three, four. Starpoint tonight at Starpoint, a huge rivalry. It sounds like Lockport is going to be the one rocking Starpoint tonight, but hey, we're not picking sides. Either way, it's going to be a great game, high energy, and that's what matters. We're live at Lockport this morning. Katie, back to you. Oh my gosh, having so much fun out there this morning. Looking forward to all those games tonight, Ed. You enjoy your time out there. Good luck, Lockport. Forecast on your Friday to get you going, but you know what's really going to get you going? The Lockport Lions. They've got some big games tonight, and Ed and Adam are in the Lions' den this morning. Hey, guys. Listen, if you know this song, it's because you're a Bills fan. It's oh, 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 oh. We got Emmy here, too. She's doing bad clips. Let's go, Lions! Thank you so much for waking up with us on a Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone.